All my children are at home with Zach right now and it feels really weird, almost wrong. I know Zach's got this, like, he's very capable, but I just feel so weird. <laughs> there are not many times in the last five years that I have been without a child, so. Good morning, welcome to today's video. Today's video is going to be a thrifting video. I'm gonna be serving you some thrifting content. I have not done this in quite some time, quite honestly. I have not even gone thrifting like all summer because we've been so busy and out and about and doing things. And so I'm really excited to start going thrifting again. I was looking at my closet and uh, I realized I don't have a lot of clothing for the fall and winter season. Last spring, I purged like all the things I wasn't wearing, all the things that weren't fitting. I just don't have a lot of options at the moment. So I went over to Pinterest, I did a bunch of pinnings, got some inspiration. So what I'm gonna be doing today is trying to find uh, pieces that are similar to what I have on my Pinterest board. I'm going to be thrifting my Pinterest winter fall wardrobe. I don't know why, but I get so overwhelmed when I start like buying clothes for myself or dressing myself because, well, I don't know. <laughs> I have a hard time finding things that I really like. Often I don't even know what I like. It's so easy for me to find clothes for my kids and dress my kids, but for some reason, I've lost that art for myself. So what I've noticed in my wardrobe is that I need a lot of basic pieces. Things like turtlenecks because they're really great for layering, even like honestly t-shirts and tank tops. I love the look of layers, especially in the fall and winter season, like t-shirts underneath sweaters, button-ups underneath sweaters, uh, sweater vests, uh, sweaters over top of like t-shirts like this. You can use a lot of basic pieces and really just amplify your wardrobe by layering things up. This is what we're looking for. You'll notice a lot of neutrals because I love my neutrals, but some pops of green, some pops of blue. I'm thinking maybe even some red. So t-shirts underneath sweaters. I'm looking for some good basic t-shirts. Button-ups are a classic. You can wear them in so many different ways. Again, like sweaters, t-shirts, cardigans. You'll notice like some deeper colors in here. So I'm thinking I'm going to add some blacks, some darker browns. I just love all the different uh, layers and the tones. I love the warm color palette. I have noticed I'm really gravitating more toward like um, not super tight fitting stuff. I have decided I'm done with jeans. <laughs> I have like two pairs of jeans that I love and fit me well, but it has taken me honestly three years to get to a point where I have two pairs of jeans in my wardrobe that I enjoy. Jeans are hard for me, so especially when my body is growing and changing all the time. So I'm going to try and find some looser pants, some comfy pants. I love my linen pants, maybe some more like dressier pants. I love like just the looser, baggier look, especially in winter time. And then some more like tucking in shirts, using belts. So I'm looking for dark browns, blacks, creams. Um, maybe some blue, some green, some red. I'd really love a nice, um, like, pretty blouse to layer underneath things. But I am on a girls' date with my sister. I can see her right in front of me. We are going to head in. The store is going to open in two minutes. We've got an early start to the morning, which is great. No. <laughs> no. <laughs>
morning. It's uh, like three, maybe four weeks later. And uh, I finally got a chance to go thrifting again. I will say I was extremely unsuccessful the last time I went. I have had the hardest time this season trying to find clothes. Everything that I'm finding, even from new stores, not just thrifting, is so trendy or cropped or not modest enough or it, like, I don't know. It's just colors are weird. I am just struggling a little bit right now. So I am really hoping now that it's been, you know, some time since I've gone and they've probably put out more of their uh, fall and winter stock. I'm hoping I can maybe score a few pieces today. So I've got the day. I'm gonna go to a number of stores and here's to hoping I can come home with something today. success. I did not get anything other than tops. I couldn't find pants, I couldn't find shoes, I couldn't find any accessories, which I kind of anticipated. It's really rare for me to find a pair of pants at a thrift store fit me. So I only have tops to show you today, but I'm gonna try them on for you. I did try some of them on and then I bought them with the intention of returning a couple of them because I wanted to bring them home and see how they fit and looked with other pieces that are already in my wardrobe. I'm trying to be super, super intentional with what I bring into my wardrobe. I don't wanna bring anything in that I'm not going to wear. So I'm trying to be very selective, very picky, and I want everything to kind of like mix and match and flow and work well together. So the first piece I wanna talk about is the one that I'm wearing right now. This sweater, I think originally it's from H&M. The tag is missing on it, so I'm not really sure. But it's very comfortable. It's the perfect fit, the perfect size for me. It has a mock neck, which is really nice. And sometimes the turtlenecks just feel like too constricting and confining. So I like that this will keep my neck warm without that feeling. It's just a really nice, warm, neutral piece that'll match a lot of pieces in my wardrobe. Which brings me to the next one. I don't know whether to love it or to hate it. <laughs> I really like it. Maybe I'll look back on this in like five months and think, Delilah, what were you thinking? But right now I'm really enjoying this. This is vintage, which I love. That's something I actually look for when I'm thrifting is finding vintage clothes because vintage clothes are higher quality. They last longer. I just like them. <laughs> Feels like the perfect little layering number. I feel like this, oh, let's try it with a dress. Okay, maybe not this dress, but you get the idea. I think I'm definitely gonna keep it. It was only $5. I have a good white turtleneck. I thrifted a black one that you'll see soon. And then I found this one today. I like it, it's just a little too big. I don't like my turtlenecks to fit super snug and tight. I like them to be a little bit roomy, but I think this is maybe just a little bit too 
roomy. I do really like this chocolate brown color though. And I think that would match well with a lot of pieces in my wardrobe already. So I'm going to keep hunting for a smaller one. Oh, but wait, I mean like, come on. This is, this is great. Here is that black turtleneck I was talking about. This is one I've actually had in my closet for a while and I have been wearing it and it's perfect. I love the way that it fits me. It's not too tight, it's not too loose. This is gonna be hard to see because it is black, but it's thicker, like a really nice, thicker soft knit it's perfect this is one that i almost didn't buy because there is a stain i think i can wash that out pretty sure i can wash that out also wasn't like the biggest fan of these but i bought it because i felt like the fit would be really good and i was right i feel like this is just like a good layering piece a good piece to have like in the middle to wear something underneath and then something over top yet like right like cozy cute this one cost me eight dollars which isn't too bad i don't know let me know in the comments what you think here's another one that i'm a little on the fence on i do really love these colors like this green and this orange i think they're beautiful <laughs> zach said it reminds him of his grandpa so like it's not bad but I'm just not sure this is something I'm going to reach for very often, so I'm thinking this one might be one I bring back. Okay, I'm pretty sure this one is a keeper. This one is originally from H&M. I paid $12 for it, and it's very similar to the one I was wearing before. Where did that one go? The one I was wearing before is just a little bit darker, and it has that mock neck. I've been hunting for sweaters that don't have a turtleneck or a muck neck so that I can layer them and have those little layers peeking through, which I really love. It fits me really well. It's very comfortable. I'm thinking this is definitely going to be a keeper. All right, here we go with some color. This is pretty much the only really colorful thing I purchased. Like I said, I want everything to kind of mix and match with one another, which is why I very often stick just to neutrals because they're easy and I like them. The only thing that's kind of holding me back on the shirt is the neckline. I don't know how I feel about that. I like it, but I'm not sure that I love it and I want to love something in order for it to stay in my wardrobe. Another thing I like about these kinds of sweaters is that they're warm, but they're not too thick and they're very easy to just tie it around the shoulders for that extra like layer. If you get too cold, you can put your sweater on, but if you're warm, you can have it as like a cute accessory. This is a new thing that I've really been enjoying doing with my sweaters. It's just a whole different way that you can wear it that adds a whole different look to your outfit and this is the last of the sweaters and this is the only really chunky one that i got look at these sleeves i love these sleeves i think the fit is really nice it's the perfect length which is awesome the only thing again is a neckline i don't love the v-neck <sighs> like it's so close to being perfect all these sweaters that's the thing everything that i find is like just this close to being perfect, but because I'm so picky, <laughs> nothing is good enough for me. And the last thing I got, just a tank top. <laughs> nothing special about it. It's just the fact that it has multiple layers and it's not see-through, which is very rare to find in a white tank top. My only thing is it's a little bit too low, like, thin. I don't know. <laughs> this neck is kind of fun and different and I like that. And it's a nice piece to layer underneath things if I just need like a little extra warmth. Nice and comfortable, basic, simple. It is feeling a little bit low and I'll probably just be tugging at it all the time and it wouldn't be very comfortable for me to wear. So maybe I'll keep hunting. <laughs> this cardigan, by the way, is one of my favorites. It's from Cezanne. Cezanne. I am obsessed with their shop. It is beautiful. Everything in that store is beautiful. This cardigan, beautiful. Which reminds me, there's actually one more piece that I found a while back that I kind of forgot about. This collar and this detail really reminded me of Cezanne, Cezanne, that store that I really like. It looked like something I might see on their website and I really like that. It's not bad, but I don't think it's something I'm ever gonna reach for and therefore it makes no sense to have it in my wardrobe. So I think this is one that is going back as well. But that brings me to the end of my thrift haul, my thrift with me. I hope you enjoyed. If you like these kind of videos, make sure to give it a thumbs up so that I know I love 
thrifting and I love filming thrifting content for you. I I heard from a few of you recently how much you've missed my thrifting content and so I want to bring more of that back. Let me know in the comments below which were your top three favorite pieces that I thrifted. And if you have any suggestions for shops to shop at, let me know as well. I have, like I said, I've been struggling a little bit. So uh, any suggestions would be greatly appreciated. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one.